he, he absolutely is fine. I mean, you know, our whole team um, struggled tonight under the circumstances. So Angelo wasn't the story, despite the fact that this is his one return here. Um, it was sort of ironic because you know his name is the one that's, that's been in the in the trade rumors all week, and uh, you know, for, for um, all of a sudden we get to the arena and Glenn and Alec are the ones uh, looking like they're going to be moved. It was a, really a surreal uh, scene for us, and uh, so I think Delo's uh, return here got lost in all that. Beyond the emotion of tonight, how that affected, how do you see just you know the loss of two guys who have been terrible and productive this year affecting you guys on the court moving forward? Yeah, I mean, A.B. and Glenn have been two of our best players, um, two of our leaders, uh, just two great pros. I mean, these guys are rock solid every day, and, and it's you can't um, overstate how important that is to have um, mentors for younger players, um, guys who are showing the younger players how it's supposed to be done in terms of just being on time every day and, and putting in the work and understanding what this is about, being professional. And uh, they don't come any more professional than, than Glenn and Alex, so uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to miss them for sure. D'Angelo's name is still out there and some stuff. Uh, did, you know, was there a consideration of him not playing today, or does him playing mean maybe you know, the expectation is still going to be here? Right. Uh, you, can, you can read into whatever... Uh, however you you'd like to read into it, uh, but it's I think our, I think the way it panned out to, tonight is, makes things pretty cool. Draymond said these teams are pretty alike right now, except the Nets have a few more wins for once. I think he was referring more to these teams being big on player development right now. How important is it to get both of these teams get their cores really strong before any visions of you guys coming back here in June of next year and. Kevin and Steph doing more than hugging it out in the court post team. That's uh, that's so far out in the distance that I can't even fathom that. You know, we have the worst record in the NBA, so uh, for us to be sitting here thinking anything beyond just getting a little better tomorrow uh, is would be insane. So I'm not going to go down that path. Sure. That's that's a little problem. What do you like best about his game? I like Eric's toughness, uh, his competitiveness, strength, power, uh, and his coachability. He does a lot of good things on the floor. I think he's got a right future. Anything in particular that you were impressed by by Brooklyn? Everything. They played a great game. Uh, Kenny has always done a really good job here. Uh, I've said in the last couple of years, um, often uh, just how impressive the job that Kenny and Sean have done in turning a program around that had no draft picks for several years. And uh, and they did it by building a really strong culture um, and uh, a, a strong uh, player development foundation. They found guys like Joe Harris, um, Karis LeVert, Spencer Dinwiddie, all these guys uh, who were there for the taking around the league. And um, they took those guys and, and helped Develop them, and they're all excellent players now. And, and uh, obviously, with the, uh, the additions they've made in free agency, uh, Kevin and Kyrie, you know, they're uh, they're uh, going to be a team to be reckoned with. Uh, they've done a fantastic job. I'm sure what you guys went through tonight would be terrible any time, but the fact that you guys have actually looked good the last couple nights, and those guys have played well, just from a, you know getting to enjoy a basketball game, that it kind of hurt even more that you couldn't look like what you've looked like the last few nights? Yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, we had a little bit of momentum. It's been a tough year, but uh, this has been a good road trip for us, and uh, we were hoping to finish it in a good way, but um, between the, uh, the news on the way over uh, to the game and then the performance on the on the court, it's going to be a long, long flight home. Coach, um, D'Angelo is very popular here, probably one of the most well-loved Mets equally probably to Dub Nation. When you come to an arena like this and you see Dub Nation, people wearing jerseys, how does that, despite your record, how does that, um, how do you react on that? Well, we got a lot of great fans all over the country. Uh, and you know, our team has been very popular because I think people have really connected with our players. 
uh, on an emotional level, they see uh, the way Steph Curry and Draymond and, and Clay and all the guys have competed over the years and uh, how good they are, but how passionate they are. Uh, and that means something. So we love seeing uh, our, uh, our jerseys in the stands on the road. It, it, it's very helpful to have that kind of support. Great. Thanks, Thank everybody. You. Thank you.